Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. Today is a day I have been waiting for for so long and I am so excited. What are we doing? How? Going to be. And doing what? Getting some honey. Yeah, it's honey day. We're going to extract some honey. We're going to go ahead and take out the supers. Um, I'm actually probably going to put in my mite treatments today, depending on the supers. If they're kind of borderline, I might wait another couple days, but more than likely I'm going to put my, uh, my mite treatment in today. But either way, we're getting the supers out. We're going to spin some honey. Yay! Yay! My little helper's getting all, all dressed up because she's going to come down with me and uh, help me get the supers off. All right, guys, we're down at the apiary now, and we're going to go ahead and um, try to collect some of this honey. We're going to take the supers off. So a couple different things that I'm bringing down today that I normally bring down for a hive inspection is the bee brush, which so, will help. So when we got some honey on the floor, the bees don't drink it. Yeah, it'll wipe the bees off the honey frames, the supers, if we need them to. Um, I also have two super boxes that are completely empty, which is where I can put the frames from the supers that are on the hives in there if I need to. Um, if I can't get the whole super off at once, which is fine. Either way, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how it works. I have never done honey extraction. I've never taken supers off of a hive completely. Um, so this is going to be a first time experience. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, guys, don't mind the hair. This is post inspe uh, hive inspection pulling super hair. <laughs> Here's all my supers. I originally, when I opened them, uh, and I was seeing quite a bit of honey, I um, I was debating whether I pull them all or if I leave some. And at the end, I decided, nope, I just need to pull them all. It's getting cool enough that if I don't do it soon, if I don't do my viral mite treatment soon, it's not going to work. Um, so I went ahead and pulled all of them. One of them had zero honey at all in it, which is my weakest hive. Kind of not expecting them to make it through winter um, at this point just because they haven't really come back uh, at all. But my my mean hive, my aggressive hive, had... <laughs> the bees are still flying around a little bit. Uh, had two, almost full, two full supers of honey. So that'll be awesome. Uh, and the other ones had at least a few frames here and there that were full. Some of them aren't fully capped, which you're never supposed to harvest unless it's all capped or, or primarily all capped because that's when it's at the right moisture content uh, and honey can ferment or mold if it's not. So I might just save those, store those, freeze them initially so that they store okay and then put them in a um, airtight container, you know, a, a tote of some sort and store them through the winter so that I can give them to them next year and then they'll have a head start on, on the honey. So we'll see. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy and I can't wait to go spin. All right guys, so we are going to go ahead and start pulling some of these frames um, and we're gonna, going to uncap them and then spin them. I've got my extractor right here. Um, this is a used extractor. We bought it from a friend. Uh, they used it for a couple years. It is from the uh, Brushy Mountain Bee Farm. So it's a compact extractor. It's a hand crank. Um, so it'll definitely be a bit of a physical labor to do this, which holy moly, if you guys are not, I don't want to say you have to be like physically fit perfectly by any means to be a beekeeper, but you have to have some upper body strength because those supers are heavy. Okay, maybe I'm just really weak, but a full super is about 60 pounds. A full medium super, which these are, are is about 60 pounds. And Holy crap, I was sweating. <laughs> Just bringing them downstairs. So, apparently I am weak. But, that's why I changed into a t-shirt, because I was way too hot. So, we're going to go ahead and uncap, and then get extracting. Alright guys, now bear in mind, I have never done this before. This is the extracting tool, or the um, uncapping tool that I chose to purchase this year. I may try different ones next year, we'll see. But basically, um, you can do it one of two ways. You can uncap this way, kind of like that, or you can kind of scrape down, which I think scraping is going to be a little bit easier. So what I'm doing is I'm just scraping this into a bucket. This is a food grade bucket. I'm going to scrape these cappings into, um, and then we'll put it in the extractor. And this is a four frame extractor, so it's going to be four uh, frames that they do. I mean, that's already. Turn 
Now this side is not completely capped as you see, but it's primarily capped, so we'll still go ahead and extract that. Now to grab another frame. So this one, one side is completely capped, and the other side is probably uh, a little less than half cap. Um, but it was getting there, so I'm probably going to extract both sides of this one too. And these wax cappings, we will actually drain off, and uh, you can extract the honey from the cappings as well. We're going to set up our bucket down here with our strainer and spin this honey. So we'll spin one side and then we'll flip them around and spin the other side. First ever spin. Are very quickly realizing that this is gonna take forever not because this takes a long time or anything but the strainer is so slow to strain out the honey um, I mean we're the buckets about maybe a quarter of the way filled um, and I saw it, I had to close this because there was so much there was so much in this that it would have overflowed um, and it just goes so slow so I keep every so often opening it back up filling it back up and then stopping again we haven't been able to do any more frames we did I don't know we've done this twice so two sets so eight frames total um, that we've actually been able to do and I have a whole nother box of frames to do plus two so I have 12 more frames to do um, so we're gonna be at this for quite a while and I haven't even finished these ones that are in here but it's so worth it all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, we are going to let this sit because we still have quite a bit in here. Um, there are a few more frames in here that we are finishing up, and then there's eight more frames that we have to do. Uh, but this is taking quite a while with the sifter, which is fine. I'd rather have all the wax you know, strained out of it um, before we go ahead and bottle it up. So check out tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be able to tell you guys how much honey we ended up getting. Um, I will post it on Facebook, Poplar Creek Farm, or Instagram, Poplar Creek Farm 2019. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And remember guys, we are growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.